Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to be with you guys today. As always, sorry that we have not been so consistent with our YouTube videos. We've been so busy, as usual, we're always busy, but we're gonna try our best once the holidays are over to be more consistent and try to get them out um, once or twice a week for you guys. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about the difference between elite and college gymnastics. I know a lot of you guys have asked and want to know more about it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> so college and elite gymnastics are kind of like two different worlds that you kind of live in just because they're so different from each other. So once you go to college, it's really rare to come back into the elite scene and then even from that, go back and finish college. It is so different because in Elite, you kind of have a team. Um, well, you obviously have Team USA, but it's a lot more individualized because you have um, individual all around, you have individual events. So it's just very different. And in college, you're always competing as a team. I mean, obviously there's some individual awards and stuff that you get and you obviously get more of that during NCAAs, which is the big competition at the end of the year. But mostly you're relying on the team, you're doing it for the team, you wanna get your team up there because you wanna make it to NCAA nationals and you wanna win that national championship title. In college gymnastics, you compete pretty much every single weekend from January to like April and you compete every single weekend Every month you're competing through those four months strong and then kind of during postseason you get like a down week we get like two of those so like after we compete like Pac-12 championships we'll go down a week and then we'll compete at regionals and then we kind of come down a week and then compete at nationals so you kind of get a break but most of that it's just ongoing hard work um, and competing every single weekend so it's a whole different ball game because in elite gymnastics you really don't compete that much like we're working our butts off like the whole year, which is kind of different because in college gymnastics, you like come down in the summer and then you kind of start peaking right before season. Um, but in elite gymnastics, you're pretty much training half sets all year long. It seems like unless we're getting ready to compete for season and you're learning new skills, but still training those half sets. And then we go to camp once a month and we have to keep showing those half sets and parts. And then we compete maybe like three or four times a year, you have maybe one or two international assignments. And then if you don't do the international assignments and you're not on national team, then you only compete at the US Classic or the GK Classic. And then you compete at championships and that's where you make the national team. And then the national team um, comes together and usually at the end of the year, you have worlds, which are in usually October. So you'll have worlds to try out for so that's really not that many meets. And then you have Worlds every single year except the Olympic year. So Worlds is kind of like a big deal. It's kind of like the Olympics. You're competing against all the other countries in men's and women's gymnastics. Both come and compete there. And then obviously for the Olympic year, you just have the Olympics. At the University of Utah, we only had like 13 girls on the team and a lot of college teams have like 24 or a little bit more than that so we normally only had like one walk on at a time so it was really fun to have more of like a smaller base team and it wasn't like so big we had more of like a sisterhood we got to know each other really well um, I mean the down part is that sometimes it would have been nice to have a little bit more walk-ons that we could put in to have us rest a little bit more but it also made us super hungry and pushed us really hard to want to be on that six-man team so in college gymnastics, you have six girls in lineup for each event, and it's six girls up, five scores count. So if someone messes up, you drop the lowest score and keep the five highest scores. And that's how it works for every event. And then in elite gymnastics, you're pretty much, like for classics and championships, you kind of compete for yourself, and you just try to combine the scores, like championships, you combine the two scores, um, from the two-day competition and then that's where they place you for the all-around and they take however many people they want for the senior national team and then for international assignments we compete for Team USA but you're only competing you know with your team just for um, you know team finals and then everything else is individualized on what you make so definitely is very different in some of those aspects which is it's so crazy because when I went to college I like 
I feel like I totally had to like change my mindset and learn so many different things. I actually had a difficult time. Like elite gymnastics, you're doing stuff that's a hundred times harder than college gymnastics. But like, it was so hard for me because I've always been known for throwing super big and hard skills. So going to college and having to like dumb down my routines was just really, really hard for me because like, for example, like I do a double full on vault and I've like always done a double full and I can't do a full and I can't do a one and a half. So we decided just to keep my double full and try to perfect it as much as I could. And then like bars, you normally have like 14 skills in elite and then you have like four skills in college. And so it was just so weird like being able to like breathe through a bar routine and have it be a piece of cake. I know um, Tom, the University of Utah coach, like some days we, we, we would do routines and then other days we'd kind of come down a little bit, especially during meet season because like they don't push you like hard the whole way just because our season is so long that they want to save the body. Um, so like my, we'd have days where we'd have like half sets or just do parts and I'm like, I'll just do a bar routine. It's literally three skills will take me two seconds, you know, and the other girls are like, oh yay, like half sets, you know, like not a full routine. So it was definitely just like, way easier for me but like harder at the same time just because like I had to dumb down the routines and then for floor I had to keep like my tuck double double which I really wanted to keep I probably could have taken out but I think sometimes in college like the skill level is all kind of the same and I just really wanted to stand out and still do my big skills because that was something that I was known for and loved to do in elite gymnastics so I was super excited that Tom let me keep some of my hard skills and you know, with scoring in college gymnastics, it's based, you know, from a perfect 10. And so you don't really get anything for the difficulty. You're mostly just working on perfection and making everything as perfect and clean as possible. So I think that helped me in a lot of ways too, is being able to go to college and taking a step back and being able to like focus on the little things. Cause in elite gymnastics, they were always like, you know, since I got there, it was like, we gotta get all these skills. We gotta get all these skills for the difficulty and the high execution. and you know, it was just like, learn, 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 chuck, throw, you know, put it together, try to get, you know, everything I could possible. And I haven't always been a flexible gymnast. So for me, it was just really hard to like spend the time on that when they were just trying to get so many big skills out of me. So it was definitely nice going to college and be able to like take a breather, relearn the things that I missed out on <laughs> through my gymnastics career. And so coming back into the elite scene, I think, that has just been something that has helped me a ton and it's been so awesome to see all you guys commenting, you know, all the nice things about your form looks better. I mean, I still have a ton to improve. It is hard for me. I'm trying my hardest, you guys, to be as perfect as I can, but it's hard when I'm not flexible and I try to stretch myself as much as I can, but it's just hard because I'm getting older and your body doesn't get much flexible the older you get, so it is getting tougher for me, but but yeah, I think, um, you know, elite gymnastics is definitely 10 times harder. I feel like when I went to college, I totally forgot, you know, how hard elite was. So when I decided to do this comeback, I was like, oh yeah, like I know it's hard. Like I knew it was going to be hard, but I just totally had forgotten like, you know, how hard it was and all the different things you have to do in elite than in college. And where I'm going with this is, is like for floor you had to do you have to do four tumbling passes for elite gymnastics you have to do four tumbling passes and with three of your tumbling passes you have to like turn and run off of one foot so normally in college you get to like stand on both feet breathe and go and in elite you just have to dance in the corner and go and so like i forgot i had to do that like even though i was throwing big skills in college i think that's kind of why it made me feel like oh yeah, I'm still doing these skills in college. Like I'll be able to go to back to elite and it'll, it, it should be okay, you know, it should be fine. Yeah, I came home and I was like, oh my gosh, like I had to learn how to run off of one foot again. And then with tumbling in college, you get to step out of your passes, like step out and do a lunge. And in elite, you have to land on like both feet first. So you don't want to step out. You want to just kind of like hop back. And so like I had to relearn how to do landings and then I had to add in a turn and then two leaps. And in college, you don't even, you do like one leap pass. You don't even have to do a turn. So like everything's just so, so different and varies in so many different ways. Knowing that I only had a year to come back, I was like, 
I'm just gonna push myself and see what I can do and because this is you know like my last chance for to make the Olympic team so I really just wanted to give it my all and you know for most people that have tried to come from college back into elite you know realize okay this actually is really hard I don't think I can do it but for me like I said I've always been really good at the big skills and doing that and so I think coming back it was just easy for me to get my stuff back right away. I was just like, boom, skill, skill after skill after skill. And then I would do, um, or when I first came back, I literally had just gotten through all of my college season. So we competed for four months straight. And then I came home for like a week and my coach calls me and was like, hey, get back into the gym. I mean, it'd be better to start sooner than later. So after being home for like five days, I started going right into the gym just after college season and started busting stuff out and I got pretty much like everything plus new stuff in within three months and made the world team all in the same year. And it was just, it was insane. I don't know how I did it, but I definitely think having that help from college gymnastics made it even easier in some aspects coming back into elite. But there's also challenges of trying to get stuff back and get the endurance back and everything like that. Team USA, we're all we're all a team and we're all pretty close and it's still kind of like the same as college except it's just different because like we don't train together all the time. We're not with each other every day. Um, you know, we only see each other at national team training camps, which are, you know, once a month or so. And then we're only with each other when we compete like internationally. It's still kind of hard when we compete at championships and classics because, you know, we're in our hotel rooms and we kind of see each other in the gym but like we're really focusing on ourselves because we got to get the job done to try to make that national team so it's just very very different and then with training um in college gymnastics you train about 20 hours a week maybe not even that and for us my freshman year we used to have 6 a.m practice spin class and then sometimes we would do like yoga or different things like that and then we do like a little conditioning circuit and then we'd go to class. So we kind of had the day off on Wednesdays and then Saturdays um, when we weren't in season competing every weekend, we would do a dance class and then like a 10 minute ab workout and stretch and leave. In elite gymnastics, I was training seven hours a day before I went to college. I was training seven hours a day, so 32 hours a week. But after going to college and not training that much, I came back and I my first couple weeks at gym, I was going Monday through Saturday, just like I used to before. Not seven hours, I was going like four or five hours a day. And it was really, really hard. And I told Lisa, I was like, Lisa, like my junior year, we were having Wednesdays off of practice. And then, you know, Saturdays weren't very hard. And I was like, I just don't think my body can do this anymore. So it would be really nice if I could have Wednesdays off during the middle of the week, just to let my body come down recoup and get ready for the next three days to push really hard and then have Sunday off as well. Um, so that was really nice that, you know, we could communicate and figure out the best plan for me. And it's hard because in elite gymnastics, even though I'm not doing school on top of my schedule, I'm doing therapy twice a week, an athletic trainer twice a week. So my stuff's just very busy. So it kind of adds up to like almost seven hours a day but I'm usually in the gym from like four to five hours. I go in, work on the stuff I need to, get out and get done. So I'm not overworking my body just because I'm older and it does get harder. I feel like when you're at a younger age, it's easier to push yourself a little bit more. Um, obviously you don't want to push yourself too much just because you want to be able to have your body last for as long as you can. And just so you can have a life after gymnastics, you don't want to push yourself and kill your body off. There's no need. Um, I really hope that a lot of people have seen with the ways that I have trained that it can help them and their future coaches to help them out as well because I feel like even being older, I might have more experience and everything like that, but it really comes down to protecting the body and doing what is best for each athlete and not overdoing it. So that is something that has helped me tremendously and I think that's why I've been able to last and to be able to make this comeback is just because my body hasn't been broken down. So as you can tell, elite gymnastics is a lot harder than college gymnastics. They are both fun and I love the sport even though it gets difficult at times and you wanna quit and wanna give up, but you just gotta keep pushing for your goals and dreams and it will all be worth it in the end, I promise. So keep working hard for all you gymnasts out there. Just never give up. 
follow your dreams and you will succeed I'm so grateful for all of you guys. You guys have seriously made this YouTube channel so much fun. So don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys later. Is that good?